A tribute to my grandmother, Juliana. I love my grandmother, my Lola. My grandmother fondly called Lola Huling to many who were supported by her generosity is a woman ahead of her times, a visionary. I credit her for so many things in my life, the foremost being the love of continuous education, music, fine arts, and good graces. As a young girl growing up in the eastern part of the Philippines, I savored her trips coming from college of a well-arranged stable setting in a nice bone china Royal Dalton dishes, serving her famous specialty of baked relleno crabs, ending with coffee and torta. During these times, she shared her vision and values of what she dreamed of all of us. In essence, she foretold of what we would become and believed in us. Her heart, along with the foremost needs of others, she was well known in the community of Oras as a giving person. She was a benefactor for so many seminarians, priests, bishops, and nuns in Eastern Samar. She instilled in me the love of music, wherein piano and guitar playing were a constant on Friday nights at our family get-togethers. She was a stout supporter and president of the Christian Women's League, the Sacred Heart of Jesus, and always dressed in blues for the mother of perpetual health. Being religious, she woke up at 4 a.m. to pray the rosary, then go to Mass daily. Faith and God, were a high-valued principle in our lives. She was a pioneer in the building of a chapel at Sitiu Micro Agzam, Uras Eastern Samar, in over a hundred hectares of plantation lands, where the local farmers would celebrate bountiful harvests and feasts in honor of San Isidro, patron saint of farmers. Most of the farm products, coconuts, corns, rice, cocoa, vegetables, and sugar canes were shared by the tenants. One thing was apparent. She never forgot the poor, the needy, and the prisoners in jail in our community. Hence, the birth of humanitarian missions. She taught us that everything worth having is gotten through hard work. At the same time, she also instilled in us that all material things are indispensable. She taught us to believe in ourselves, to work hard, but to know that we are but stewards of whatever gifts and talents we are endowed with. No room for pride, because as she would always remind us, vanity of vanities, all are vanity. To love others, to be patient, to give from the heart and to be loyal to friends and family are but a few of the values I learned from my grandmother. This is her legacy to us. To my grandmother, I dedicate what I have become today. Salamat, Lola.